All right, so we're going to be making a jumpsuit and to make a jumpsuit with Divine Cut, you create a top, then you create trousers and then you use the jumpsuit operation. Um, it's a function in the design section. So what we're going to do is create a top for the character Fear not. and position the points, the neck, the chin, nipple, shoulder, elbow, and wrist, and pelvis. Now, when creating a jumpsuit, um, you have to set the waist circle high up. So you can, you can position the neck however you like, the shoulder uh, however you like. You can make it short sleeve if you want or a long sleeve, however you like it to be. But the waist circle needs to come around here, like that. Okay, so generate top and it will create a top for you. So now come back to frame one and then select your character and create trousers. So we're gonna set this to trousers and press new cloth. So position the pelvis, the hip, the knee and the ankle. Now generate trouser rig and now we're going to move the waist close to where the circle for the top was. So around here and then position the fly circle Make sure it hugs the leg and the knee circle, that looks fine. And the ankle circle, that looks fine. I'll disable cuff ankles and click on generate trousers. So now we have trousers and we have the top. So I'm going to sculpt the top a little bit from the side view just to make sure it's neat. And yes, like that. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Marvelous. So once we've gotten to this point, under the design section, you'll see jumpsuit operation. Click on that and it will create a jumpsuit out of the top. So you can now go into edit mode, select this loop and press Ctrl E, clear sharp. And we can add sharpness here, Ctrl E, mark sharp. So in sculpt mode, we can just tidy it up a little bit. Yeah, and just smoothen it out a little bit. So now when you press play, the cloth drops onto the character and we have a jumpsuit. So from here, there's a lot of things we can do. You can see the stiffness of it. We can increase the weight of the cloth here. You can set it to about 0.5. And we can increase the quality steps to about 20. And that is our jumpsuit. Um, now there are a lot of other tools you can play around with like the paint section. You can paint inflation, so we can set the weight to 0.8 or 0.9. But this is going to kind of shrink the cloth wherever we paint red. So you can make the waist area snatched and tighten like this. This is one way of doing it. So when you press play, you can see it pulls in at that area. Another way to do this is select the vertices in edit mode, then under here, inflate deflate, click on the pencil icon and you can set the weights you want it to be, let's say 0.9 and click OK. So you can see in paint mode, it has neatly set those weights, like that. So that is basically it. Um, you can do all sorts, you can edit it, you can delete the sleeves, make it into something completely different. But um, that is how you make a jumpsuit using Divine Cut. We can add more accessories. Um, you can add a color to this um, under the design section. You may want to rename it to Divine T-Shirt. With this exact spelling, if you want the color function to appear. So if you have this, you can click on add color and it will add a color to the jumpsuit. I'm going to Clear sharp, Ctrl E, clear sharp here, and we can sharpen this edge here, Ctrl E, mark sharp, and click on this and click on bind, and we can deactivate the color for now, so it won't be, it won't slow it down. We can also add a seam here if you like, just like these edges, and just stylize the jumpsuit however you like. When you change the geometry of the cloth, whatever is bound to it will need to be rebound, so select it and click on bind again and that will be fine. So yeah, that's basically it. That's creating a jumpsuit using Divine Cut.